Okay, we're back. <laughs> and I'm in portrait mode this time. So let's see how this goes with uh, getting Kay on camera now and starting our interview. Kay Hamilton, the gorgeous Kay Hamilton. And I'm so looking forward to talking with her about herself, her business and uh, essential oils that she recommends for us as women in business and potentially I think also us being creative and spiritual. I think that'd be great. Ah, okay, I can see that you are there. I will um, add you and let's hope it works now. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Let's see how we go. Um, hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, bring them on camera. You know, this is... This is uh, this is all part of the process and you know it's, it's this idea of resilience that something doesn't work, we try something else and we just keep going. So um, let's see how that goes. Are you getting a notification, um, Kay, that, uh, um, that you are invited to come on and join the interview? Is that, is that coming up for you? Because I'm not getting that uh, adding... Um, uh, symbol so to speak so let me just try something else um, my viewers uh, I'm going to see whether I can actually get okay so it says that you want to be um, joining me and I'm going to approve and uh, symbol and I am oh drum roll yeah. drum roll I'm yeah. excited yeah Hello, hello, hello. about last-minute malfunctions. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I know, My, I know. Um, <laughs> thank you for your patience. <laughs> oh, thank you for yours. I really appreciate right. that. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? We can't, we can't always foretell what's, what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, I was just saying before, it really makes us uh, uh, aware of, of, you know, really using our resilience because, you know, we don't want to just get, you know, give up and, and this, I don't know, determination. And I think, you know, as women in business, that's, you know, what we need. Yes. And, and <laughs> you know, like I said before, if one way doesn't work, let's try another way. So anyway, you are that's here right. now, which is absolutely wonderful. Thank you. And uh, I've I can see you. I've been running around the house. Talk about persistence. Sorry to cut off, but I've been running around the house no. trying to find a place where the lighting's okay. So... And uh, then my look, stand I... broke. And anyway, but I'm here. Uh, it's all good. <laughs> best laid plans. And I'm actually um, working out best options for my lighting where I've moved my uh, my desk. And unfortunately, I love the position of it, but it's not the best for Facebook Lives with the lighting. So um, I'll have to yes. work out some, some be persistent in that way. And, and the lighting that, changes. That's the thing. Yes, yes. it does in the time does. of the day and all of that sort of thing. It definitely does and, and uh, cloud and all that sort of thing. Anyway, let's start. So can you, you. tell us a little bit, yeah, about uh, yourself and your business, um, Kate? Yes, certainly, Helen. So, um, well, uh, for, for a start, I'm 62 years old and I'm the mother of four gorgeous daughters and one stepson oh. and I have six six grandchildren. Uh, I had five granddaughters wow. and then we were blessed with a grandson earlier on about five months ago this year. So oh, the boys the beautiful. boys have started uh, um, <laughs> started, you know, joining the family, the feminine family. So yeah, I think yes. a bit more balance would be a good thing. So it's lovely. Oh excellent. Yeah. Yes. So my back well I've single parented uh, my four daughters and I'm a primary school teacher that's my background and mm -hmm. I've also through my crisis of divorce and the uh, critical point where you you know you need to reevaluate your life and make some changes yeah. um, because I was left with um, at that stage three young daughters one that I was still breastfeeding when mm. I was on my own so that was my um, uh, what's the spiritual nudge to look at my life and think about what mm. I was doing and mm. where I was going. So that was my awakening into spirituality because I well, I was brought up going to church years ago and could, just my soul didn't resonate with a lot of things about the um, constrained religion ideas. So that was my nudge mm. to learn how to put myself back together and make myself whole. So in that journey oh, I beautiful. came across Reiki and and a whole lot of different um, modalities and got into crystals mm. and 
moved on to colour healing or added colour healing. And Ooh. then in, um, yes, I've done orosoma training. I don't know. Oh, um, yes, you know, I've used it. Yes. yes, beautiful. Yes. So, um, <clears throat> and then, uh, and then... In 2010, I actually came across Young Living Essential Oils and I was very blown away about um, their beautiful smell. Um, I just bought a kit online. I hadn't even smelt them, but I, was, I had what I call the divine nudge because I was wanting to put something <laughs> on my body that was not going to interfere with anything in my body, like my endocrine system and put me out of whack. I wanted something that was going to keep me in balance and... I bought these oils from a company called The Lost Seed Company. Oh, that's where I got an email from them um, promoting the oils. So I, being in school holidays and having time to, you know, think and feel, <laughs> I mm -hmm. spontaneously bought this kit of oils. And when it arrived, I opened them up and I just went, oh, my gosh, these are something that I've never really experienced before. I've experienced oils before, but nothing like Young Living. So when I um, mm. started using them, I started enjoying them and started sharing them. And then other friends wanted to get some kits. And then I sort of started to realise that there was um, an option for me to create some income from that. And mm. because I'm a single mum and four daughters, I don't have a. I'm not very. I'm not as organised as I would like to be for my <laughs> retirement years. And mm. like many of us who separate and have to pick up the sticks or, or who people who are left on their own, I, you know, there are a lot of women, uh, quite a few women in my um, team now who are looking at, uh, who are loving the oils. They work with energy and healing and mm. are potentially creating, you know, well, they're definitely creating some residual income and, and moving towards creating a, a, a nice retirement Although it's not really retirement when you're in love with something like mm. you know, most of us who are in business because it's our yes. passion anyway. So. Yes, <clears throat> that's right. So, yes. So now I have uh, over 500 people in my team. and I've, 500? Um, over 500, yes, who are using oils. Oh, my oils, goodness. Which to wow. some young members that's a lot and to some that's not many at all. But anyway, that's okay. It's gro <laughs> it grows grows all the time. I think last uh, month, 40 new members joined my team, which was pretty exciting. Oh, and, that's, that's uh, that great. Lovely. And yeah. I only joined um, two of those. So that was wonderful. Yes. It's a, it's, yes. Young living is a beautiful thing to be involved with. Mm, so, oh. um, so, yeah, so when I found out, when, once I started using yours, then I discovered why young living or oil, oils are so beautiful and why they're so worthwhile. Um mainly because it, it, for me it ticks all my box, my, my greenie boxes of, you know, <laughs> are the oils, um, where do they come from, how are they grown. So our oils have no chemicals or pesticides. They come from sustainable farming practices. And our mm. company has farms all around the world. Um, mm. And all they're sourced from partner farms or sourced from people who have our you know, strict conditions of no chemicals, no pesticides, no he no exposure to heavy metals and things like that. Mm, and then mm. our oils are all, well, not just our oils, our plants. There's a lot of research that goes on behind the scenes with Young Living and um, they're all um, tested for heavy metals and tested for lots and lots of different things and they'll only on sell oils to us or bottled oils via our seed to seal promise if the oils come up to Young Living's high standards. And that's also mm -hmm. they're looking for the constituents in the oil because we want these oils to be active on our bodies. Um, we use them for uh, supporting our healthy, happy lifestyle. And if you don't have a mm -hmm. good quality oil, that is not what's going to, that's not the effect you will get from it. Okay. Can I can I actually just go back a little bit? In yes. case there's somebody in the group who does not actually know or is wondering, have I got it right what an essential oil actually is? Uh, okay. Can you just tell us 
really, really, mm-hmm. yeah, back to basics. What okay. is it? What are they? Well, when, okay, so well, really, when we walk, brush past a plant in the garden and we smell and the molecules of the um, the plants are released, we, we smell the aromas. When you smell a rose, you're really smelling an essential oil, but in mm. its... Um, you know, in its basic form, or basic's not quite the right word, in its natural form. Um, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. When, when you produce an essential oil that you might be using the flowers or, or the leaves or the bark of the um, trees or the stems, different parts of plants are put into a great big um, still and um, the, the essential oils are released under pressure and steam now oh. the important thing, uh, yeah. The, so the important thing about that is that you that you make sure that you don't cook them too high because if they're steamed distilled too high, you won't get the therapeutic value of the oil as well. So it's very right. important that it, that's why um, you know it's so important to know where your oils come from and how they're distilled mm. and how they're grown. Mm. So because it's the <coughs> lifeblood of the plants. Interestingly enough, they actually, uh, I'm not quite sure whether the word resonate uh, is correct. I, I can't quite think of the word at the moment, but they work very, they align very well with our blood. So mm-hmm. when, when we smell mm. anything, it goes in through our nose, um, in through our uh, receptors of our nose, and then it gets distributed right through our body in seconds. Mm-hmm. And that's for anything we smell. So the beauty mm. of essential oils is, uh, good quality essential oils, is that when we smell them, they go in through they, all our receptors, they get picked up by our receptors and then they travel through the limbic system of our brain and into the, the amygdala, which is the back part of our brain, mm-hmm. which is where all our memories are stored. And, of mm. course, good memories and not so good memories. So that's where... Um, mm. trauma or um, mm. or any sort of negative images of ourselves or anything that's holding us back can be released when we're smelling the oils and that's the beautiful thing about them. Mm. Um, mm. They're very supportive on, on all levels. Mm. Oh, and that sounds doubles. wonderful. Mm. Yes. Oh, thank you for explaining that because that's actually... Uh, some things there that you said that I, I didn't know um, yes. uh, about with a, with a lot of detail because the impression I have, and, and tell me what you think, um, is that essential oils now are really, really popular that perhaps may not have been so much um, years ago. Are you finding that, that it's, it just oh, seems absolutely. wherever I go, people are, are talking about them. Yeah. Uh, I wish I had my book here because we've got a book written um, about Young Living and it's, uh, it's because we call Gary Young from Young Living. He was the founder of Young Living and he was mm-hmm. paraplegic and um, oh. was told he would never walk again and he really didn't enjoy that. So of course, obviously, you wouldn't. And he, he's a very mm. active, um, he was, he recently passed, sadly, um, after a long mm. series of a whole lot of things. But he, in his, learn, in his healing journey, he actually started feeling um, the sensations in the bottom of his feet. And so that mm. gave him the interest to pursue his healing. So on that journey, of getting himself back to to be able to walk and uh, much improved health. He discovered the benefits of essential oils. So then he started distilling them in his own backyard and um, he is what we now call the the founder of the modern age movement of essential oils. And Mm. it's not actually something that's um, new. It's been around for thousands of centuries. Um, mm. But because Young Living, well, I mean, and there's lots of small companies around and there has been for a long time, but Gary's really, really, really raised the profile of essential oils. And, of course, when mm-hmm. something good is happening, other people want to create that too. So that's what's been mm. happening around the world. And I also think um, energetically we're changing. Our consciousness is being 
elevated as time goes on and that's what we're yes. all doing. People like you and I are on that path and many people yeah. who are in your group are yes. on the path to raise the consciousness of the world. And That's, that's, and that's a great point. That's You're really right. what it's mm. about. Uh -huh. mm. And oils actually have helped that. Now, years ago yes. I was diagnosed with um, mild depression mm -hmm. um, and, and that was in part due to some of the um, experiences that I'd been mm. through. And um, I know that essential oils have certainly helped me elevate and uplift my mood and my energy and mm. my positive energetic feeling, you know, for that's life great. has come back and, and, that's, and now I can bless that on to other people and it's, it's uh, a beautiful thing. It is. It definitely is. That's yeah. great. So you're, you're living, you're, you're, you're really walking your talk in terms of um, uh, do you use, actually I'll ask you now, do you use essential oils every day or um, how do you use them yourself? Yeah. So I, um, I use, so I'll, I'll just pick one here because I know we want to talk about um, essential oils for business. Um, mm. Apparently you can actually turn your camera around. That, that's probably back to front, is it? You know what? I can't see it. I can't even yeah, with my glasses okay. on. I can't right. see the writing. Oh, that's I okay. Did... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. Envision. Yeah. Okay. Pardon, so sorry, I missed that. Envi what was it? It's called what is it envision. Called? Envision. envision. Right. So if I wanted to envision, you know, like to create your business or to create whatever it is you want in life, you you do the dream work first. You do your journaling or you do your meditation. So simply um, before you do all those um, things, you just pop a drop on your hand. Oh, two drops came out and that's okay. And then you pop the lid on and you can um, activate the oil by just... Um, um, <laughs> rotating your hand and then, mm -hmm. then so you simply just breathe it in and smell it. Mm. And that is just a really beautiful way to create your own personal diffuser. I do have another diffuser mm. behind me. Ah, uh, yes. See that. I think so, I can in the um, background. Yes. So yeah. we will. I'll inhale them or I'll put them on my body. Like I have a blend called Abundance, and I put that Ooh. on my heart every day with the intention of abundance for myself and my family, my team. Uh, my, our young living global family and, and the world all over. So mm, mm. It, it just enhances tools that we're already using. Um, mm -hmm. And, and mm. I guess you work with energy, you work with frequency and vibration. So yep. using oils actually helps to um, align all those and helps to magnify. If we use oils with intention, it magnifies the purpose of the oil that we're using them mm. for so so it's, mm. it's really just Makes an add-on to lots yeah. of things then That's other great. ways you other ways you can use them are um in the diffuser so and i mentioned that or in in your water um i'll put some lemon oil in my water every day and that just helps mm -hmm. you keep my body happy and healthy and um right. or i might add ori orange um, oil Ooh. to my water or to yogurt, mm -hmm. some orange with yogurt. So mm. we have a range of oils that we that we uh, use in our food and drinks. Um, okay. Massaging them on your feet is a brilliant thing to do as well. Oh, yes, yes. Mm. So, of course, everyone wants to keep to, you know, support your happy, healthy immune system. So we have great oils to keep our bodies happy and healthy. So... That's oh. um, always a good addition as well. That's excellent. Mm. So can I just ask, um, is there a limit to how much you can put uh, of the oils into, into liquids that we consume or perhaps even food? Um, I'm not sure if I've heard well, something about that or, or not. Yes. Well, interestingly, um, some people are totally aghast at the idea that we would put them in our food. Now, you mm. need to know that the history of that or the reason for that can be that um, so, uh, some aromatherapists are trained under the English method of oh. aromatherapy and they only use them topically. 
Uh, okay. There is the French method of aromatherapy. They use them, um, well, they use them internally. In Australia, mm. we have to abide by the TGA laws when we're discussing mm -hmm. these things. And we are allowed to say that you can put your um, some oils in food and drinks, and but we only need you only need one to two drops. So it's okay. not it's not something you need to use a lot of. Mm -hmm. In America, mm -hmm. it's very different. And I know you um, did mention to me that you have American audience. Mm. Yeah, we do. In in this group, yes. So the Americans are very lucky because their laws are a little bit different, and their range that they use in their food and their drinks or they they can take them internally and they're allowed to talk about that because oh, their okay. laws state that that they can the the fda rules state that they are allowed to do that so right um things are very different and that and we however in having said that here in australia we have capsules as well and in our capsules mm -hmm. that are passed by the tga so we have capsules such as oh. um, one I take daily is called longevity. And that's right. um, a good support for my body. Um, and it has frankincense, clove, spearmint and one other oil, I think. So mm. if the TGA oh. says, if we've had things passed by the TGA legally, we can talk about those things. Mm -hmm. So it's, Fair Quite enough. interesting, and it's mm. very um, the whole essential oil industry is something where people need to be educated on, and that's a large mm. part of my what I do is educate people on the value mm. of using them in your daily life, but also yes. the um, the importance of working out where they're sourced, how they're grown, how they're harvested, how they're distilled. Uh, mm -hmm. and all of that. So, for example, with Young Living, when they pick their Lang Lang, Lang flowers, they will not put any bruised flowers in the big hops to be distilled. Okay. And they, mm. and they also do testing about what time of day they're harvested because it, it, mm. during the day certain things are released from plants that they want in the oil when they're harvesting. So it's, mm. it's, it's quite a complex industry so people will say yeah. to me oh you know do you grow your own do you get your own and whatever it is and I go oh gosh no because I know it's um it's it's very complex uh mm. and if you want to um you know if you want if you're looking for good quality oils it's worth looking into mm. all mm. that side of things I have seen mm. you know concerns about um, over harvesting of certain herbs and plants by different companies or by uh, people in areas where they're being mm, sourced. So, if mm, we really are looking at supporting the planet, we really need to know that we're doing the right thing by Mother Earth. Yeah, as we know. Yeah, exactly. Going around, so yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, that's that's. Thank you. That's really interesting. I hadn't thought about. I've never heard of it, uh, essential oils in a capsule and, and as you say, the different laws in different countries. Oh, I'm sorry, there's someone doing their lawns outside so it might get a little bit oh, noisy. Can, but sorry, we'll, we'll persist. Hear it. Oh, good, That's good. good. Um, yes. Okay, so thank you. I want to ask uh, and spend a bit uh, of time with you letting us know about which essential oils uh, you would recommend for us in business. But I want to actually ask a productivity question because I've got to yeah. get that in as well. Um, yeah, and, and yes, just, just to ask you a little bit. So you have uh, a team, you just said before, 500, which just does my head in. I know you wouldn't <laughs> um, uh, necessarily have to manage all of them. Oh, oh, you know, no, just yourself. No, no. But but how do you, as a general question, how do you manage that? Whatever the work is that you, um, and I use that term loosely because, as you've said, it's a passion, but whatever you, you do with your team, and yes. I know also that you do do some occasional teaching. So what does a typical week look like? How do you fit that all in? <laughs> a typical week looks like... Um, it, my typical week has to be very flexible because mm. you, you talk I could about imagine. flexibility. Because I'm, I'm yeah. still transitioning away from teaching. So I've what uh -huh. I've done, I've resigned. Well, I cut my full time. It was lovely actually. A friend said to me the other day, "I remember you saying your goal was to um, 
wind back from full time. And then the next goal was to um, just work part time. And then the next goal was to resign, which is what I've done. So I've I'm oh. in a state of transition. So I've resigned from right. teaching, but I do a bit of relief. So yes, um, to support. Uh, and I, mm. I like teaching anyway. Well, mm. any, but, but mm. time was not my not my gig. So um, Fair enough. I, if on a Monday morning I get called to go into teaching, I I will do that if that's something that mm -hmm. is comfortable for me and I haven't got other serious plans. So I usually make sure that I lock in certain things that I know I need to do in the evenings to free mm -hmm. me up. Um, right at the moment school holidays here in Tasmania, which is why yes. we chose this morning is a good time. Yes, um, yes. So, and then I will, well, I'm pretty flexible. So if I get up and think, oh, I'd like to go for a walk down the beach or if I want to do a, some, a half a day of gardening, I'll do that. Or if I want to spend some time with the grandchildren or if I've got to look after grandchildren, I'll shuffle mm -hmm. my day around like that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't actually have to manage, as you say, the 500 people in my team. So generally I work with the leaders. So if mm -hmm. I have meetings or Facebook lives or, or you know, uh, Zoom calls, I mean, I'll schedule all those at night. And a okay. lot of my young living, if I do events, they're on weekends. And because I'm not locked oh, into right. teaching, so, so mm. like an expo, so they could be, you know, on mm -hmm. a Saturday and a Sunday. So, and if I have yeah. to travel, sometimes I travel to Hobart here in Tasmania, which is a four and a half hour drive for me. So I will travel mm. down on Friday and, and I'll then, and I've got a team of people down there and I'll help do workshops or whatever's happening down there. So I can, mm -hmm. I've got the flexibility to stay on for as long as I like. If they need mm. me, I'll stay on for as long as I like and then, if I've got mm. teaching, I, I really leave it up to, you know, whatever comes my way. So it's it's mm. flexible and um, mm. I'm, I'm getting some residual income from Young Living, so I know I've got a base income mm -hmm. and my mm -hmm. teaching is a blessing over that at the moment. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's great. So, so it sounds like you you use a lot of your intu uh, intuitiveness um, oh, uh, in terms so. of yeah that flexibility that you're talking about, which which is great. That's certainly uh, uh, a lovely way to be, then, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's the only yeah. way I operate. I think <laughs> I've got some new members. On, I've got some new members on board, and they said, "How about we get this? Um, I think it's called My Tree. It's a." A little dark a diary, which is great, and they've they've um, encouraged me to load it on my iPhone, and they've got dates in there of our meetings and things like that. They're new, they're new, but they're being proactive, and I'm going, yes, that's fabulous. So um, I'm saying, and actually, a friend, I was talking to this same friend last night, and she's when I told her about this little act, she said, oh my gosh, I remember you saying that you want to attract some people to <laughs> help get you organised. So. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like you have a great reminder of you know you've put it out you've put it out there and this is what what can happen. So true, know. so true, exactly. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, thank you. That's that's great to know. So now, if we can just focus um, on what are some of the oils that you think uh, would be best for us as women in business, and and why? Why would it be uh, those oils? I'll, I'll, I'll bring my little table a bit closer. Oh, um, lovely. So Thank I've you. I've mentioned Envision and I've mentioned mm -hmm. Abundance. Um, yes. Well, we might like to, um, oh, well, call Inspiration. That's a beautiful Ooh. oil. Um, and you probably can't. Oh, yes. In, um, no, but I can see the, um, oh, yes. probably when I, when I watch it on the replay. So, so what is okay. that used for? So Inspiration, it's full of lots of really um, good oils to support you to, you know, in business, we sometimes we get to a dead point where we go, well, okay, well, I, I want to do this, but then, oh, gosh, this is the idea, but now I need some inspiration about how to pull mm. it together or mm -hmm. I need some inspiration for ideas. You know, you might have an event on and, and you, you might come to a flat point where you go, well, oh, what am I going to do? So, well, you might reach out then for inspiration and use mm. it and diffuse it. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and in, embody that the energy of that. Or there might be times um, 
you know, perhaps when it comes to spending or something like that or um, when it comes to planning, you might need a little bit of common sense <laughs> um, <laughs> because, because a lot of us don't actually have much or, or our common sense goes out the window when we get a bit excited. <laughs> or, That's the emotions you know, that drive us. Well, we're, we're very much, well, I'm very much emotionally driven, mm. but sometimes yeah, a me too. common sense goes a long way. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's that balance fight. that we were talking about. Yeah. So we don't bite off more than we can chew. True. Um, grounding, sometimes a bit of grounding Ooh. is a good thing. Oh, yes, uh, yes. You know, a lot of people, particularly spiritual people, uh, you know, we all have this, you know, we've got our mind up here in the clouds and the dreamers so and true. all that. So true, so true. But none of, that's, none of that is going to happen unless we actually embody that and bring mm. bring that into our body and to stay Keep our feet on the ground. Yep. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I've yeah. got the left of a bit of a cold still lurking. Oh, no. Um, so, um, yes, grounding is a good one. For, and, mm -hmm. and then you can actually use them on parts of your body so that would align with the chakras. So I would use my oh. grounding. You can smell them, yes, but I would also place them somewhere on, on the base chakra and um, mm. or on your feet. That would be mm. a very good place. To put your yes. grounding. Um, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Excellent. I've also done um, teacher training in the art of feminine presence, which is a beautiful. Oh, Rachel Jane practice. Groover. Yes. yes. So oh, I've, wonderful. I did a mastery in that last year, and I haven't actually done any uh, formal teaching with that yet, or or I haven't really brought that into fruition. But her. Uh, those practices have been very supportive for me, and mm. you, you know, with with the art of feminine presence, you, you use the sacral chakra, and well, you mm -hmm. you align different chakras, and make sure that that energetically we're in all of those chakras, and not just in our heads. Or a mm. lot of healers and a lot of people are in their heart space, so we're in our. We want to give mm. it all the way, so yes. using an oil line. Orange would help to bring it lower into your body and to um, embrace it that way. Oh. So you can use them with mm. uh, lots of modalities. Um, mm. There's a there's a few people, clinical psychologists, that are using the mm -hmm. oils uh, in their practices uh, in America. Really? I know there's quite a few people. Yes, uh, I've mm. actually got somebody who started using oils. Uh, in her practice too and I, I've got quite a few friends who use the oils as as an addition to their healing modalities I've got a friend who does mm. the seven fields of healing and she's created that modality herself and then she discovered that by using the oils in her practice her um she was getting much better results people were getting you know the results were amplified so mm. it's you know, that's another way that people can use them in, in their businesses. They can use it as an add-on or integrate it with their business. Um, oh, I love that. Oil, yeah. Yes. Another oil I have is motivation. Mm. Oh, good one. So, you know, to stay high and motivated uh, or acceptance. So if something's happened mm. in your business, something, you know, you might have mm. had something lined up and then it fell apart or or mm. whatever has happened, uh, acceptance is something that we all, you know, can need a little bit of support with sometimes. And yeah, I know for me, when I smell the oils, it just it just brings you down to that ah moment and gives you the ability to just 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 to be and just to accept whatever's going on in your world because oh. um, things. Things change rapidly when you're in business, and yeah, if you're in yeah, it, if yeah. You're like me, I've had to come from a teaching mindset to a to learn mm. what it's like to business and to mm. you know, learn more about goal setting for myself. And uh, mm -hmm. now that I'm with Young Living, I'm stepping into more and more of a role as a leader as time goes on. Mm. Yes, with uh, five hundred the oils, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with that. Um, using the oils is something that works really well with that. And I also love mm. how when we have our conventions, we have some fabulous top-class speakers who are just uh, world-class speakers who are very inspiring mm. and 
and they all come from that perspective of you know they want to make a difference so oh that sounds great, great. yeah great. so great. there's yeah, so would you mm. recommend for those oils that you were suggesting for yeah. us uh, as women in business, would we be best to apply them, uh, some of them every day, or is it that it depends on what's happening, like you said, if you need the acceptance or the motivation or the inspiration? How, how would we yes. typically okay. go so, about that? Yes. Um, look, you can, some people like to choose one oil and focus on that for a month and really find out what mm -hmm. difference it makes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm at uh, the most people who come on board with Young Living. I hear people saying, "Oh my gosh, I've got my kit. I've opened it and I've become addicted," <laughs> which in a good way. <laughs> um, so I couldn't say that I would go through one day without using more than one oil personally. So we would, right. uh, like a daily routine might be for me. Well, for me, I will also um, I'll have my shower. I'll put. Uh, abundance on my heart every day and then I might add some frankincense to my moisturizer or some lavender or whatever mm. I'd like to use there although we have a full range of products so we have skincare and toothpaste mm. um, oh. uh, we have we have lots of things uh, mm. I wash the dishes with essential oils we have our own dishwashing <laughs> liquids so when you oh. say do you use it every day, yes, I do because I, they, yeah. they're just integrated into my home. So there's a yeah. whole aisle down the supermarket that I don't have to walk down. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm not at, well, actually a couple of aisles. I don't have to go down the beauty aisle unless I want cotton <laughs> buds or something like that. And I don't yep. have to go down the, the toxic aisle of the dishwashing mm. liquids and, mm. and the clothes washing. Um, yeah, and really, we, we all need we all need to become very aware of making sure we're supporting our happy, healthy endocrine system, because yes. to have a healthy mindset and a healthy spiritual approach, well, that also mm. comes with a, a happy, healthy body. And if oh, we, young, yes. if we we really are best to be supporting ourselves on a holistic, with a holistic yes. approach. And and, um, and and the and the environment as well, isn't it? Happy, healthy world. Yes, yes, mm. yes that's right. So, yeah. and, and, you know, I think we're seeing the effects more and more of our modern day life. We're all exposed to toxic chemicals, whether we like mm. it or not. We've all got them in mm. our homes, in our varnishes, in our paints, on our furniture. But then by... Uh, looking at that and that we, we recommend people ditch and switch their toxic or harmful chemicals mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. on board with, you know, natural things to support our bodies. Oh, that's great, yeah. yeah. Um, so, now, look, we're getting towards the end of our time, believe it or not, it's flown. But I wanted to ask you, is there something, how can, uh, for people watching, how can they uh, learn more about what it is that you uh, offer? Uh, is there something, yes. a, a specific way or a specific offering that you have for us? Well, there's a couple of, well, um, I will put the link to my Facebook group in, oh yes, in, please do. After yes. this is finished, I'll do that. Yes, and anyone Excellent. will be more than welcome uh, to mm. join that. I'd love you if people want to join that. I'd love you to friend me too, so I kind of get that connection of where yeah. you are and personal uh, touch. I yeah. also will offer a free chat to anyone who's in, if someone is interested in looking or delving into things a little bit more deeper, or if anyone has some health goals or some business mm. goals that they might like to ah. pursue, I would, um, I would offer a free discovery chat if someone's curious. And I could even um, offer a, a coaching call, um, an, an activation, a soul active energy activation if anyone is kind of thinking, well, yes, there's something I'd like to pursue with this and I'd like to experience it. So I use colour. And essential mm. oils, and I will help people work oh, together. A challenge. So, I, if anyone's interested in that, um, they could send me a PM, and we'll set up a time and a date, and I can do those uh, mm. online. So, oh, that's that's, that's great. As well. So that's that's mm. using the essential oils 
um, well, and colour therapy and or colour healing, yes, sorry? I do, yes. So what I do is I, I sit, I, t I get someone to give me their intention and I sit and with my intuition and with colour and my with my skills of, or my learnings of um, colour therapy and, and I sort of pull a few different modalities in and I'll help mm. people do a clearing and um, set you on the way for, uh, you know, where you're headed in the future to give you a bit of a breakthrough or activate your potential. Um, I do a drawing and I uh, often mm. use essential oils dur during that time. Often release is needed if we're stuck. And energetically the oils will work from a distance and then often what people will do is they'll they'll mm. decide to, sometimes they'll decide to open up their own wholesale account that's what I, that's sort of what I encourage people to do. Get yourself a wholesale account if that's the way you want to go, or I can send the oils to people wherever you are in the world. World I can organise a purchase that way. You can mm -hmm. people can just purchase by creating a retail account as well oh. by just purchasing. Oh, the that's oils. great! So there's several different ways to access the yeah. oils. Yeah, a lot of people go, oh, I don't want to be locked into something. You're not locked into anything. There's lots of flexibility about how mm -hmm. you go about introducing oils into your home. Oh, life. that sounds wonderful. Yes, yes, exactly. Well, look, thank you so much for that, Kay. If you can put all those um, uh, links, uh, and, as yes. you said, in the comments underneath the video when we finish, that'll be okay. great. And thank you for your time and your energy and your patience. With uh, we, We've thank made you. it through and I didn't freeze, so that's wonderful. Yes. Uh, and that's yes. been really – I've learned a lot with regards to, you know, more detail about what essential oils are, how you use them in your everyday life and how, us as women can can use them and, and the benefits that that we would uh, receive from from doing that so thank you so much uh, really appreciate as I said your time and your energy and oh uh, do you have a final word is there a final word you'd like to to say before we end thank you very much what a great opportunity uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're and we're uh, we've we've ticked off determination persistence and collaboration so i think that's wonderful <laughs> <laughs> we've done it all exactly right we've, we've done, done it all. all that's great yes. oh that was and a lot I'll, of fun I'll, I'll be on live today with um adair later in the day too so oh um, that's another adair thing maybe Palmer. i could i'll put a link into that yes so I've connected yes you're welcome excellent with adair via you which is lovely yes and oh that's that's, that's lovely Wonderful. And she's invited me to a live again today, so I'm not oh. sure where I'll be, depending on the lighting here. Uh, I'll be having some fun with the day, so. Oh, I'm so pleased. That's wonderful. Love to see the connections happening in the group. That's wonderful. Yes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I will love Thank you and leave you. you. And anyone who's got any uh, questions on the replay, any comments uh, when you're watching this back, if you can please put them in the comments. I'm sure, Kay, you'd be happy to answer those. And if they're relevant, yes. I'll, I'll, you know, for me, I'll, I'll obviously respond as well. So thank you again, okay. Kay. Really Thank love you. talking with you. And All right. uh, love to you love and to you uh, see you again soon. Bye, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.